Jared, avoid some put me on else during the night party, guys. In fact, I was so impressed at his behavior. Yeah. He tried to like mind his own business, stay on his own, you know, mingle with the boys this time around. In fact, he almost all the time he was just seen sitting down with Sinai. Okay, and you know, Mpumi was just trying all she could, you know, to get close to him and all that. Though before then, before they left for the party arena, um, Taki, I think Ensenai was there, Jerry, Taki, and Liema. You know, Taki was like telling Liema, uh, sorry about that, like, you know, she's been serving the punishment and she won't be able to go for the party. So Liema's response was, mm, that is what you get when you fight for boys. You know, Jared was there. He was still trying to like cheer her up and all that. Then they left for the party. Guys, at the party, <laughs> young dude was just minding his own business. And I loved the fact that, in fact, Impumi was uncomfortable. She was very, very uncomfortable because you could just see her walking up and down you know trying to go close to where he is but mm, like so when um okay before then though the party was just boring it was just boring i was like is it because lemma is not there or is it because from the dj to the housemates and this is the attire the team that look like is is not really giving that vibe in party stuff, you know. The ladies were just <laughs> if everybody was just like on their own trying to like mind the business and you guys know how it is now. I don't know whether because tomorrow Sunday is eviction day or what even at that Saturday they still party hard, you know, catch some fun. But it was later revealed that okay, that was when um Papa Ghost and Sammy, they were just talking and she was just asking her about Willie and all that. So she was trying to say nobody in the house is real. But then some of them said her feelings and all that. So she said it seems because of what happened on Thursday. So like the... Um, they weren't giving much alcohol, so it was very little alcohol they gave them. Maybe they didn't want all those because you guys know what alcohol can do. And I could really attest to that because Jerry was not like... Mm. It was only once that, you know, he was just where he was standing was where Sammy was standing. And, you know, he just danced small went all through. He just sat down with Sinai. They were just sitting down or to if had... If I you wouldn't even say that one was a night party, and I was impressed. I said, mm. but for people that are coming to say he's pretending, I don't think Jared is pretending at all. I don't think I think because even when um in relationships, there is no way these partners can be that hundred percent faithful. But one thing I like about him is the fact that he understands that I like this person, and he does everything possible to make sure it's not all about the game. It's not all about the game. Like he revealed the other time. He felt it was just like, mm, do go. But it's not all about the game. And I don't think it's, um, one must be in the ship before they can win. Like when um, Mark Jr. was telling Taki, you know, he, these people watch shows. He mentioned from Mercy. He said Mercy, white money. He said white money was not even in the ship, but he won. Mentioned um who else? Ilebaye. I said Ilebaye was not really in any ship. She was just, you know, swinging there from one person to another. This was Mark Jr. now telling Neil. Okay, so I don't really think you have to be in a ship. But the truth is that these persons are like developing feelings because when they were like discussing, asking children, uh, what kind of person do you like? What kind of men do you like? Um what kind of people do you really like? He said he likes people like Sammy B. He likes people like Mish. He like you know, you guys know Shuenza are now. He's, uh, you know what it is now. So, he was just talking. He mentioned Mark Jr. He came there. So, Mpumi was there. She was just like, so, f from what she mentioned, you know, guys like Jerry too. Guys like Jared. So, throughout that night, she was just, and it's like they are allowed to take, um, some of these herbs, I don't want to mention the name, like W-E-D. So when she, 
Mpumi came near um Papa Ghost and Sereto, you know, she like took that, but camera didn't really show it. I think they said it's legalized there, they can actually take. So, you know, try last night, she was not really herself, even when uh Pali was asking her, What's wrong? Are you okay? What's going on? Blah 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 blah. She was not really I feel all of them are kind of regretting like, why did I do this? or you know. Or probably you guys gave into something and now the guy is acting like people don't exist. So probably they're looking at themselves as they are cheap or but though in the afternoon he was um Jared was chatting with Mpumi and Mpumi was like asking, I don't know why he, she keeps asking about Liema, blah blah blah. So he was like, mm. Jerry was like, well, what happened is even okay, it's good for the four of them because um, Liema was becoming um, progressively boring, you know. But I don't want to interpret that like meaning because you know, he was always telling her, focus on the game. Play the game, girl. Play the game. Like, he too understands that this is a game. So, we don't have to say because we are in ship or we are in a relationship, we'll not play the game. So, he was always like, play the game. So, probably, he, what he meant was she was becoming like, we probably losing focus or, you know, but with this thing now, it's good. At least everybody has sat up and they know what they are there for. And everybody is just trying to like strategize, re-strategize, let me put it that way, play their game and all that. So after the whole party and everything, he still went back, you know, was just there with um, Yema trying to like, you know, help her out. Not really helping her out, you know, just seeing her, you know, keeping her company now so that the whole thing won't be bored. And I don't know why people keep blaming Yema. Like, she's still quite young and it's not something you just do abruptly. She's still taking her time. Of course, it's the game. And nobody knows what Biggie might have told her. So, it's the game. There's no way she can just push Jared out like that because both of them are like they've already formed the content that is on people's lips. So not until the guy is evicted, she still has to like be, you know, walking around around let it be centering around that lemma jerry's uh -huh. but it may not just be again because feelings are still involved so you know lemma went ahead to just tell him about you know her previous relationship they were just talking about her how she has been proposed twice and you know they're just talking about general thing but my main happiness is that at least to an extent this young man avoided Mpumi and else like at least for now it's an eye opener they should know that mm. and guys when they were together Pale was like um, well people should be okay play, play their games mind their business don't step on other people's toes yeah so they should mind their because they weren't minding their business if they had if they were minding their business they wouldn't have like you know gone to scatter because they are not disruptors anyway yeah, they weren't marrying their business. And when asked about to tell you that Mpumi, they all did this thing to hurt Lema because while they were talking, and um, I think they brought in Sinaye. So um, Mpumi said, "Well, Sinaye is blah blah blah, and he's in a in a, he's in a relationship or he's in something. He's with someone." So Pali was like, ah, who he said? I think he's with Z. I said, okay. Sinaya is with Z. You people can't go to scatter that one. Why must it be um, Jared and Liema? So, well, it is what it is, guys. So that's just the gist for you guys, okay? Yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And happy Sunday to everyone. Let's just await tonight's eviction. Bye.